Hello, my name is Earl Mount, and I would like to share with you today some very interesting little pistols. Uh, what I have here in this uh, remarkable old holster uh, that was made out of a bigger holster. Um, it's got a belt loop on the back that says 1915 on it. And inside of it, I have a Walther Model 9 vest pocket pistol. And the Walther Model 9 vest pocket pistol is the smallest 25 automatic that was ever made. And the production began in 1921. And this is 2021, so this is the 100th anniversary of the Walther Model 9 pistol. Uh, this particular pistol is serial number 410367. So this is the 367th pistol uh, that was made uh, probably made in the very first week of Model 9 production. And this particular pistol is not uh, very attractive at this point. It's a 100-year-old gun, so what would you expect? But I'd like to share with you uh, some pretty remarkable early guns uh, that were also made in 1921. And so here I have three Walther Model 9 pistols in the original boxes in new or in very good condition uh, that have survived the last hundred years complete with the box, with the manuals, with the accessories. Uh, I have Walther Model 9 uh, 413547 and Model 9 413718. Uh, these two pistols, they were probably made in the same week at the Walther factory in Zella Millis, Germany. Um, the little pistol uh, comes with the manual uh, in the original box. And um, this particular pistol has a label from the retailer. And this retailer was a company that uh, was located in Berlin at the time. Uh, Again, the manual is with the box and it's a multi-page manual. Again, the retail uh, that shows all the details of how to make your Model 9 function well. Um, and the retailer with this particular gun provided a brush. Uh, the Model 9s did not typically come with a brush, but uh, uh, in this case, a full complete gun. Um, this one uh, is marked in very small letters. There's a stamp made in Germany. So this gun was imported into the United States in 1921 uh, to be sold on the American market. And with this Model 9, the manual is in English. Uh, and it's got a very clear description a uh, very proud, almost uh, boastful description of the unique capabilities of this particular pistol. Um, at the time that the Model 9 came out, the most common pistols of this kind on the market was the FN 1906 uh, and the Colt 1908 is basically the same design. Uh, both guns were designed by John Browning. Um, it began, uh, it was sold in beginning in 1906, and it was a remarkably popular pistol. Uh, they sold over 500,000 by 1920, and ultimately this gun sold over a million. Uh, so very popular, but as you can see, compared to the Model 9, it's a much bigger, fatter gun. So the Model 9 is a much more uh, convenient sized gun. The other gun that was very popular in that time is the Mauser 1910. Again, this is the same caliber, uh, 25 ACP, um, but compared to the Model 9, it's a much bigger, clunkier gun. And so when the Model 9 came out, it was incredibly popular. Now, in 1920, prior, um, Walther had come out with its Model 8, a very elegant design, a very accurate and reliable little pistol. And for the next uh, two decades, Walther would uh, sell the Model 8 and the Model 9, um, and both were very, very successful on the commercial market. And so, as I mentioned, Walther was very proud of their new Model 8 and Model 9 uh, pistols, 
and they came out in addition to these standard production guns the model 8 and the model 9 were available in higher grade finishes and so here we have a model 8 and a model 9 in factory display cases and in these display cases they describe their pistols as for the best in personal protection is the new Walther Model 9 uh, pistol uh, from the Walther factory in Zella Millis. Uh, these pistols are uh, nickel finish. Again, here's a Model 8 and here's an early production Model 9. So again, still first year of production, a hundred year old pistol in nickel with mother of pearl grips uh, and just a stunningly beautiful little pistol. Now, this pistol, 26801 range, so a few months later, and by that time, Walther had already begun improving some of the designs. The original gun, the, uh, the front of the magazine well, went all the way to the bottom, and it made extracting the magazine very difficult. And all Walther Model 9 magazines have this little tab on the side, and the early ones do not have a way to do that. It was a very difficult manufacturing process. So by this time, they'd already relieved that for a fingernail groove and the tab has a hole in the side so you can punch that out. And so the very earliest, earliest model lines will be flat across the front and the magazines will have a flat bottom and they won't have a hole in the side. Uh, those are very, very difficult guns to find, especially in any kind of condition. Um, in addition to the blued finish and the nickel finish, uh, Walther also provided uh, Model 9s and Model 8s in what they called the deluxe finish with full factory engraving. And so here I have a Walther Model 9 in blue finish, fully factory engraved, hand engraved, again with mother of pearl grips. Uh, this particular pistol, again made in, uh, this is serial number 434814, uh, uh, so a little bit later, still probably 1921 or 1922, and it has proof marks indicating that it was exported into England. So we have a Model 9 that went to America, we have a Model 9 that went to England, and this one has a uh, just a stunning... Um, a Moroccan leather custom uh, case that, that holds a number of the uh, cartridges in it. And then here in this um, change purse clasp holster, I have another Walther Model 9, again a deluxe model, full factory engraved with a gold wash finish uh, and ivory grips. Uh, and this is serial number 444456. Uh, so again, first year of production, a um, hundred year old, uh, beautiful uh, custom deluxe Walther Model 9. Um, the Walther Model 9 was manufactured as I, beginning in 1921, as we've discussed, and production ended in 1940 uh, at the beginning of the World War II when they ended Model 9 production and Model 8 production to focus on uh, wartime pistols. So I hope you've enjoyed this discussion of the Walther Model 9 uh, and it on its 100th anniversary. Um, in the weeks to come, it's my hope to be able to uh, share some more videos. I'd like to go into much more detail about the the manufacturing process and all of the variations that took place over the 20 years of production. Uh, I'd like to show, uh, have a detailed discussion of the different types of boxes and cases, uh, different holsters. Uh, it's fascinating to see all the, the variation of little holsters that they made. Um, I'll do some, uh, I'd like to share some on the competitors. The Model 9 generated a tremendous amount of, of uh, competition and, and a whole a series of, of other small pistols uh, were produced. And then I would like to share some information on the process of 
maintaining and uh, uh, using, functioning, repairing uh, these little pistols. Uh, some of these are at this point too valuable to be uh, shot, but there are still, again, getting back to the pistol that we started with, this gun, uh, I shoot it pretty regularly. It may not be pretty, but it's still a lot of fun to shoot, and they're a very valid, uh, uh, very valid uh, pistol in today's concealed uh, carry market. Uh, uh, people say, well, it's too small to carry, but uh, if you've got one with you, that's better than the one that's home in your drawer. So we'll do a discussion of that. So I'm looking forward to sharing more information with you on the Model 9s, and I hope that you've enjoyed this discussion.